Hi, so what I have here is the Emerald Healthy Air Fryer and it is model SM Air 1800. So what I want to go through is actually the size of it and I want to show you how big this is in the two quart model. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the saucepan or not the saucepan but the uh, actual container here. So you'll notice that the container here is four inches deep and as far as the width it is six and a half inches. So this is your typical two, two quart saucepan. I would not recommend anything smaller than a two quart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one and a half cups of tater tots and one and a half cups of waffle fries in this and show you how it comes out and how much it actually fills. Now this thing does come with a removable drip tray. So the oil, even though you're not gonna put oil in this, but there will be some natural oil that's in the food that will drip down. So this here does have silicone feet here that prevents it from scratching on the main pan here. So that's one of the better features of this. And this was very affordable. Uh, it runs on sale somewhere between $20 to uh, third $39. So you could get this pretty much uh, the average price for this is about $25. So let me go ahead and um, you know g give you some size comparisons. So you saw this is six and a half inches by four inches deep. And so if you have your typical you know two quart saucepan, this is how it looks side by side. And so just keep that in mind. Um, and your typical four quart obviously is, is a lot bigger. So uh, just just keep that in mind. I just want to show you the size comparisons because um, you know that's why you're getting this for the compact size. And here's the size of this, which is one eleven inches tall, and it's actually seven inches deep. So just also keep those dimensions in mind here. So what I'm going to do is uh, let me show you around this first. So this has a 30 minute timer and it's manual so you just twist it. At the top here is the temperature settings. It's really basic but it does, it's, uh, does actually does the job here. So it does have the temperature guidance for you. So you know for fries it says 390 degrees Fahrenheit 18 to 20 minutes and so it gives you a rough idea. Um, and let me go ahead and just, uh, you know, show you. So, so this is what I'm going to put in. I have the tater tots. So this bowl here, right to the brim is two cups. So this fills it two cups. And this here is the waffle fries. So what I have is roughly a cup and a half and a cup and a half of waffle fries. And I will put that into the pan. So I did, I, I've had this for more than two months now, three months, and I have been using it. You, you see that, that there is Teflon here and it does have like the max that you could put in. Um, I put in the drip tray and I'm merely gonna, you know, put in the tater tots. So once I put in the tater tots, you, you could get an idea of you know how much it fits. So this is a cup and a half of tater tots. So I have 25 tater tots in here. So the main thing here is about the size of this. And I have you know the waffle fries here. Another cup and a half of raw waffle fries. And once again just to give you an idea of you know how much size there is. Now, now I would say this is you notice with, with the tater tots, there's a meaty center. So, so these actually come out perfectly, you know, very healthy. And the way that the air fries work is it circulates a tornado of air, hot air. And so it gets fried very evenly. So just keep that in mind that uh, this comes out a little bit better than the fries because the fries have like thin meat. You know, it's very thin. So it comes out a little bit more crunchy than you really want it to be. Whereas the tater tots have like the thicker, meatier stuff in there so it comes out a little bit better. So let me go ahead and pop this in. 
and then just turn it on for you. So I popped it in. I have it set at 390 degrees. And I know just from experience that it takes about, you know, 17 minutes or so. So while this still has a minute left to cook, I just want to go through uh, some of the other aspects of this. So you'll notice that this does have uh, 180 degrees, so it starts 180 degrees all the way to 400 degrees. The cord itself is 3 feet 7 inches. And you'll notice here that while it's cooking, there is hot air that comes out of the bottom. There is a clearance of a quarter inch between the counter and the air fryer. So there is some air space there. Now hot air, hot moist air comes out all around the bottom. So just be aware of that. Uh, it's not too hot as you could see, but it does get pretty hot here. So you might wanna put a, a hot plate or a uh, treble at the bottom. So it looks like it's done. And I am gonna pull out the tray and show you the results. So you see here, this is uh, pretty much golden brown. And let me go ahead and uh, I'm shake it around for you. You can see the tater tots came out a little bit better as I mentioned. You might want to space this out a little bit more. Um, but this does feed two people if you want to fill it all the way up to the top, all the way up to the max here. Um, and let me go ahead and give you a better look. And also, you know, take one of these out. You, you could see from both sides it's, it's actually uh, pretty decent. I might have left it in like a minute too long, but you could see here that the tater tots are pretty golden brown. Um, right here, let me give you some different lighting because it's actually the lighting. And the tray here, you could see there's air pockets in the tray. And I, I do put this in the dishwasher to wash. So that's one good aspect of this. Uh, but there you go. That's really it, and I hope this helps. And uh, please subscribe, and thank you for watching. So I've emptied this out, and you could see the natural oil that comes to the bottom. So this is very easy to clean. You could see, you, you're just cleaning it. You could either put it in dishwasher like I have, or you could just use uh, a sponge uh, with normal detergent and... Uh, you know, just rinse it, so. So let me also give you a better picture of how this actually works. So if I turn this over to the underside, you can see there's a grill here, and also a coil. So the coil here is sort of the electric heat element, and in the back there, you could see a spinning fan. So you could see the blades there. And really all it does is create that tornado effect with very high speed heat. And also just to give you a sense of, you know, what you need to do to act, clean it if the top portion gets dirty. So here, just giving you a closer look of the heating element and the fan itself and also what it takes to clean it. So you can see the heating element, that's the coil. And this here is takes up about a thousand watts. And in the back there, you could see there is the blade and fan. Let's give you a better look at this angle.